Hello YouTube, and I'm going to show you a new Minecraft invention. So here in my redstone world, I've been working on a lot of things. Oh, I forgot to change it to peaceful mode. And where am I? I'm just going to kill myself first. Oh, yeah. I was playing with some explosions in my redstone world, and this was the outcome. So if this is, is still working, then it will be good. So this thing is a metro like system which is based off the plug-in train carts um i i borrowed some parts from minecraft pg5 cart trains metro stations which was made about a year ago and compared to his version mines is much more compact Oh, I forgot. Maybe a few more clicks. And this thing can be back into action. So this is the timing circuit. And I'll show you how to make it work. There's pros and cons about this machine. But let's start it up. You have to manually load it, which is one con about this machine. Just like in Minecraft PG5. Just flip this lever and I'll just start running. Oh! No wonder it stopped working. Okay, so let's do this again. So we flip the lever. We manually load it with carts. And if I am right, it should be working. Yep, wait. Oh. This might be a failed video. Oh, yep, it is. And here's one con about this. It's not that reliable. It's very unreliable. I might improve it and make another version. But that might be later. Hmm. Oh, this is the wrong circuit. So... I'll replace it. That was a fail. Let's just... Re replace that. And let's reset the machine. This is a real failed video. So let's see if it works. I hope it works this time. And we flip the lever. It loops around. Yep, and it works. So you ride on one cart. And there's also platform screen doors to prevent people from falling onto the tracks and missing stuff. The only time they are allowed to go is when the carts stop. And when this is done, I'll show you another invention, which is from my 
most compact minecart arrival bay, I have made a new one. This time without command blocks. It uses a glitch where the cart is fast enough to stop. But it's still, so it's still like near the block. It's, it's close enough to this rail that when the, the piston goes up, it will, it will boost the minecart all the way up to maybe that hole. Well, this is an outdated version, but I made some improvements just by changing that to three ticks. And here, it will be much more reliable. And if you think Mojang will fix this when I do it in 1.8, well, you're wrong. Because this arrival bay works even better in 1.8. Maybe it's because the physics change with TNT and stuff. And entities. So, anywho... Let's get on to a tutorial. So the tutorial for this is very simple. First you place blocks over here. And you place one redstone, one redstone here. Then you place one, two, three, four, Oh, wrong way. So you place one, two, three, four, five, six. And you place a seventh repeater and a torch on here. And we put it here so the to so the torch won't power up this. And we place the rails. The con about this is it has to be on full speed. Otherwise, it'll just bump onto the piston. The, the piston will stop it. And place the detector rail. And this. And make sure to not put a rail on top or else the piston will break the rail. And they'll be annoying and here. As simple as it is. So what makes this work is that the piston stops the minecart while while the the track the block with no track on top of it lose makes the cart lose more momentum. <clears throat> But then it was too slow that the rail, it will clip in between the block and the rail. You'll get a less buggy experience when you ride onto it. Just like, oh. Maybe a bug in single player. It works better in multiplayer, I think. Because it's slower. Yeah, it'll clip through the minecart. If it's on one tick. But it works better on servers. As you can see. So. So when the block is powered. They'll put on the repeater. And it will power off this torch which will power off these three rails so the minecart will fully stop. It will light up back on two ticks later and they will and because there is no block over here it will just stop and that's how it works and this is the, just the timing circuit. And now with the second tutorial this beast minecart machine. If you think this is complicated, it's not that complicated once the tutorial is shown. So let's start building. So here will be the detector rail. 
It will lead to two different areas. The T flip flop, which is which the timing is controlled by the number of cards, and the timing circuit, which will push the T flip flop back into the normal position. So, if you're doing four cards, um, keep it in eight ticks. Two for one card, which is what I'm going to do in this tutorial. You can place the T flip flop anywhere around the middle, as long as it doesn't block other redstone circuits, then it's okay. No, not sticky piston, a normal piston, here. Here, redstone block, and the timing circuit. Which you can place a block there to save your redstone. Oh, yeah, I already have a repeater. So place those repeaters for the timer. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And this, we put it here, yeah, here, here, and here. Maybe we could add a button. Button, button, button. So here's how it works. We'll push and I'll push back to all the redstone moves. The platform screen doors is optional, but I recommend you add it if you're doing it on the server. So then we add the second part when the T flip flop is activated. It will make certain things happen in a matter of time. So we can make a circuit here. This is a bit different because that was the prototype version that I made a long time ago. Well, not so long. And we put the circuit there. Wait. If I get this wrong. Okay, just move this line of blocks over here. So it will avoid the redstone issues with blocks. skills and here here and that trail of blocks where the piston will be powered so if you're doing four then you'll need five pistons Sticky pistons. Here, one, two, three, four. Repeaters, and you don't need a redstone because this will power the repeater will power up that block. And now we can place that. And for the basic redstone component, we are pretty much done. Now to add the rails,
And just like in the other video, we uh, we put a dip in my like in Minecraft PG five version. But there is a massive flaw if you're doing this in servers. Because of what is known as the Southeast Rule. Which is how the game sorts out the, the rotation and costumes of the tracks. So now add this stuff. Just for decoration and to make things neat. Oh, a bug there. Or maybe not. If you're interested in redstone and minecarts, you should join the MRT server. The IP is on one of my videos. That's minecartrapidtransit.net. You build cities and metro systems. There's a lab world. For you to build in if you're interested in making metro systems and yeah so this one is safe because there's a repeater and it won't power anything and now we find the problem. So now we need to find a place to put this. And to sort that out. can put it there and put an external power source over here as it is not part of the thing of the system you need to put it into a better place oh it's not updated hmm, weird as long as you keep all of the rails powered, it'll be okay. A okay. Hmm. I'll change this to two ticks. And put a block here. And put another two ticks. And put that here. Bam. And now we've sorted out the problem. So now the last part, which is optional, but it will have an advantage if you're doing it in servers. The platform screen doors, which can be done simply by placing pistons. Dum dum dum. And I'm not sure if the audio quality is bad. I'll try to fix that later. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll just move it it's here. Probably that will be okay. And we sorted it out. You could put, um, like, stone bricks by doing, by making it one up, up, I guess. So we put glass, maybe for this demonstration. 
and stone. It was very bad building. And oh, what? No, 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 no. Okay, that is the a bug. Because the last time I only put sixteen. Maybe that's a glitch when you change versions. And if you test it, it will work. Let me show you what I mean by BAM. And we will finish the rail circuit. Boom. Boom. Down all the way here. Here. And we will test it with minecarts. And as you can see, we're working. Wait, what? Okay. Maybe we could just put the pistons. And the cart has glitched. You could blame the system for being really unreliable. Because it's not acting like it usually is. It's very hard to make it working pro properly. So you might as well reset it. And to reset it, just clear the carts and try again. This is probably a really long video. Please let this work. Oh wow. What? Hmm. Maybe something fishy. But you can figure that out. And my new channel name, The Eight Lawlers, signing off.